Very often what people do with their wild turkey is they just remove the breasts and then they throw everything else away. I'm going to cook the breast today, but what I want you to remember on your wild turkey is save those wild turkey legs and thighs, save the carcasses. It makes incredible stock. Now, these are the wild turkey tenderloins. Inside the tenderloin, there's this tendon right here that I like to remove, and you can just kind of work your way around it or you can Within use the a knife. wild turkey breast, there are some fibrous areas that I like to remove. I like to trim it up. And you don't have to waste any part of this. Even if you take some of the little fibrous parts up and you get some bits and pieces, you can grind this up and make wild turkey burgers, which is what I will do with this tenderloin. Over here, I have wild boar Italian sausage on my camp chef stove that's going to go inside my stuffed wild turkey breast. I want to cut a big pocket in this. This is going to be a large stuffed wild turkey breast that's going to feed several people. If your turkey is freezer burned, it's probably because you didn't use a food saver package and you can always cut off the freezer burned portion. Anything that you have that's trim you can use to make stock. All the leg, thighs, carcass. I season it with the High Mountain Poultry Seasoning and Rub here. And this is all going to be part of the stuffing. I've got boar sausage, mushrooms, onions. Wild turkey is actually a lot more on the dry side than chicken. So if you're complaining about your wild turkey being dry, Chances are you, what you've probably done is overcooked it, but if we put some things like boar sausage and mushrooms and onions, and I'm going to put a little cheese in there and then stuff it, well, that's going to help it quite a bit. I want to put a little fresh basil in here. And like I said, you could tie this or wrap it in bacon if you like. I'm just going to fold it over. Wait a minute. Cheese. And if you put a little breadcrumbs in there, it'll keep the cheese from running out. I put my rolled and stuffed turkey breast seam side down. So the seam side, where it all comes together, that's down so that will seal so all the junk doesn't run out. I'm going to let it set up, and I want to put some fresh avocado on top. And again, the key to wild turkey cooking is to not overcook it. I've got the wild turkey, look. It's got the sausage, the mushrooms, the cheese. It's stuffed. It's gorgeous. You could do this in a Camp Chef smoker also. Mm -hmm.